Welcome back everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Under Rail. This will be part 23 of our Let's Play series. And uh, in the last episode we we made a bit of progress, we killed the mutants in the under level. Uh, in that sort of south, southwest-ish uh, corner. So that was really good, and we found a key card to the... to get level... Oh my god. To get level 2 access. I mean, this... If that doesn't exemplify our, uh, our run through this place, I don't know what does. But anyway, uh... What was I saying? We found a key card. And... And that gave us level 2 access to the security system, which, from what I can tell, did absolutely nothing. Oh wait, we can't get back to the other side. Because we want to get to there. Hmm. We need to go through the, uh, go through the under area. Which means we have to go past the turret. Not exactly ideal. Anyway, and we also went to a new area that had actual mutants, not uh, mutated people. Or, sorry, not whatever it is. What are they called? Junkyard Muty. They were actually called mutants. And, quite frankly, they kicked the shit out of us. Um, their, their melee attacks did like 45 damage each, and we have 190 health, so two of those is damn near half our health. So, yeah, that's about as fun as it sounds. But we're back now, so we're going to see if we can get through that electronic lock with the keycard we found. I don't think that goes where we want to go. So let's keep on moving. We need to get to, I think it's that ventilation shaft. We'll uh, get us into that room. <laughs> Uh, I remember there's a bomb in this room as well, a frag mine that I can't see. But thankfully I can avoid it. God, I hope we're out of this place soon. We might even go grind out some rat hounds or something, because, man, this is hard. Keycard required. We have a keycard. Had a keycard? Uh... Lot. Security key card. I mean, I I have a key card. Well, that was a bit of a waste of time, wasn't it? And this also means we're gonna have to go through that stupid hell area. I mean, we've got some loot, right? If worse comes to worse, and and worse has basically come to worse already, um, we can always leave and come back later. There's nothing. Oh wait, everything will respawn if we leave. Maybe. Not sure quite how that works. Whether everything does actually respawn here. I don't know. That would be the danger, is that we would leave and everything would respawn. Which, and I mean, that would absolutely kill us. Like, there's there's nothing we'd be able to do to, to make this progress back. Uh, there's no doors or anything here, is there? No. So this is the only way to go, past these mutants and mutant dogs or whatever. But how are we supposed to get past this? The biggest problem is that those dogs spot us immediately. So if we happen to find one, we're, we're dead. And we just found one. Please go away. No, there we go. Okay, 
Okay, there's an electronic lock there. I'm going to save really quick. And see if we can get in with our keycard. Or I could find the dog immediately. Uh. What am I doing? No, 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 no. Man, this knife does nothing. And here's the mutant. Yeah, just look how much damage we're not doing. Okay. Well, the dog found me. What happens if we just stand still? He says, as he immediately moves. Let's just stand still. See if the dog spots us. Probably will. Leave me alone! Can't interact with it during combat. Awesome. So what if I just move like one spot at a time? Guess that's not good enough. Oh, stop. I thought I could move diagonally. Nope. So it will still see us. I don't even think we can get in that door. Yep, still there. Like, I'll bet you we don't actually have the key or whatever to get in that door. Why don't you leave? Go away! Oh my god! Alright, here's what we're gonna do. Here's what we're gonna do. I sh okay, I, I shouldn't have said that like I knew what we were gonna do because I have no idea. No idea what we're gonna do. I don't see what the point of that is. Oh, we nearly touched it. All right. If this is how we want to play it, this is how we're gonna play it. Dog. I don't know where the other mutant is. Can I give it a shot? I mean, I can. I can shoot at it, but I'm not going to hit it. Uh. Well, we're kind of out of ideas again. Because nothing here is really going to help. I mean... Alright. Alright. What I should do... At the very least... Is uh, charge my knife. Why can I not do this? There we go.
And the problem is, now that I'm this deep, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get back out again. Although I suppose there's an autosave for when I uh, got here. Until the other one gets here, or the mutant, that works too. Okay. There's one down. We are all of not at all closer to actually being through this, but... Okay, that doesn't stop me being intimidated though. I don't know, let's just throw this, maybe it'll scare him away. Nope. It doesn't. Like, how am I supposed to get past here? Oh, yeah, thanks. How am I actually supposed to get past here? And this time the dog went the other way. I just, I don't understand. I can master the quick save key. Again, that time it couldn't even see me. What I really want now is to be able to get past this dog. I don't even want to fight it. Okay, and this time it gets me with the acid blob. This time it's there. Can I just enter combat? Right. Take me here. Keycard required. Yeah, that's sort of what I figured. I guess the question is, can I get maybe inside that door? Not without a lockpicking of 55. And you can't lockpick in combat, correct? Uh, I don't think so. Hmm. Right, I'm going to load the autosave. Which uh, should be when we got in here, or when we left the previous area. Close enough. Because this area really needs to be explored. Love it. Oh, more, please. I just heard a door open. Not that it matters. So the only way for us to proceed here is make it to that door without being spotted by one of these dogs. And considering they can spot you from around the corner, that's really not going to happen. Hmm. I mean, what I can do here, and I guess it's worth a try, is if I can get close enough, maybe plant a fragmentation mine and maybe a HE mine. Oh, dog. Which saw me. Yeah, I mean, if I can get close enough and plant a couple of mines, maybe, just maybe, I'm going to save it just 
here so that we can stealth when we get back in. Maybe just maybe we can do enough damage that they will uh, not die. Oh my god. Honestly, it's the dogs. If it was just the mutants, I could sneak past them, but having the dogs all the time it is what's killing me. Nope, didn't even get it planted. And maybe, maybe Caltrops? Okay, I mean, these crossbow bolts are really doing nothing for me. So you can't put a Mark II grenade there. And, like, maybe I can throw the Caltrops and slow them down, which might let me do something. Please don't come towards me, dog. No, by all means. Just keep sneaking up on me. Yep. <laughs> oh, there's another one. Or I should say there's the other one. Okay. The dog is leaving me alone for now. So, that did that. Perfect. And can I equip that there as well? Don't think so. Good stuff. And nobody got hurt by my mind there. What? Why are you coming over here? And this is the other thing that's that is annoying me about this game is that it does change when you quick save a uh, quick load. Like they don't follow the same patterns. They don't have a patrol pattern. They just wander. And you can't have stealth in a game like this and just have them wander. You need to be able to anticipate their moves. Okay, we have landmines aplenty. Going to put that there as well. We're going to throw some caltrops out here. Sort of a good throw, I guess. Because if push comes to shove, right, we can just not go this way. There's a lot of pushing coming to shoving in this episode. Okay, that was not at all a good throw, but this is what we're doing now. Okay, so now they're going that way. Which I don't know why that is, whether it's because of the caltrops, oh, never mind, the dog came the other way this time. Okay, so what's your option? Maybe throw Caltrops up here, like so. That was a good throw. Alright, well those Caltrops are going to stay there. Guaranteed. Question will be... 
Can I plant the landmines? Which would be the answer would be no. I'm not going to be able to hit these now that I'm intimidated. Let's just throw more, uh... Nice! That was kind of where I wanted it to go. But not really at all where I wanted it to go. Oh, fine. Never mind, I'm dead. Alright, that was good though, sort of. And it has a cooldown when I load? Why? Why does it have a cooldown when I load? That is a very backwards and stupid thing to do. No, just, just leave me alone. Here's what I'm thinking. Here's what I'm thinking. Stuff this place. And by this place, I mean, like, Depot A. Um, stuff this place, and what we're going to do, we're going to go back. Go back into town. We have some extra Charons. I'm pretty sure we picked up, did we not? Uh, no, they're not called Charons. They're Stygian Coins. Uh, yeah, we have 900 Stygian Coins. Right, here's what I think. We go back into town... We should have done this ages ago. Go back into town, buy every grenade that there is, and we're just going to blow them all on on these mutants. Because maybe if we can find a Molotov, we will, you know, set them on fire. And they'll die, and Jesus, I just remembered, no, 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 quick load. Um, I'm going to save it before I leave, because this is why we didn't do this before. Because we were worried that everything would respawn. I kind of suspect it won't. kind of suspect it won't, just because this is like a location. It's not a generic travel between two areas kind of thing. I mean, fingers crossed... That's, uh, that's the dream, anyway. That's the dream. Yeah, yeah, very spoopy. Moving on. Maybe some of you guys should help me. Just saying. Would appreciate the assistance. I wish anyone would help me, really. Like, I'm not picky. Alright. Uh, weapons dude. Weapons bro. Len. Show me what you got. Okay, you got a frag grenade case. Okay, you have some frags. That's very helpful. I suppose you have... You do have the blueprint for a flashbang, which I already know, apparently. Huh. I did not know that. I 
Love the idea of having steel gloves. Steel gloves. I'm guessing it's like plated steel. Galvanic riot armor. Hmm. Cool. A groin guard. Chance to get critically hit reduced by 3% only affects male characters. Brilliant. Uh, what can I sell? Can sell that. What's he looking for? Eight firearm parts, four firearms. Well, if you want four firearms, I can provide. Okay, I don't think we're ever going to, like, make guns. Damage from. Duh, duh, duh. Okay. If we just stock up on this. Wow, we, we are still way out in front. Do you have electronic repair kits? You don't. Okay, let's just trade out some coins then. We loaded up on grenades. And. Wow, we are way over time. So in the next episode, we're going to continue our shopping trip. Shopping montage. Uh, yeah, so if you like this video, make sure you hit that like button. Uh, if you want to see more content from me, the Aussie Nerd, make sure you subscribe to my channel. And uh, if you think you know any friends that might enjoy my content, make sure you show a video or two to them. I'm always looking to grow my community. And finally, as you guys know, I love hearing from you guys about the games I play, the channel, um, any you know feedback you have. Uh, I love seeing it. So. If you want to leave any feedback or anything like that, make sure you do that in the comment section down below. And I'll see all of you guys in the next episode. Goodbye.